We talked about Duke Energy's uh, decarbonization goals. The states we serve, many of them also have goals. The federal government has goals. Uh, and many of our customers have sustainability goals that are very important to them. Uh, and um, in fact, they, they may not be able to operate in our areas if they can't meet those sustainability goals. Further, our residential customers are very interested in us providing uh, the cleanest energy uh, possible. All of that makes decarbonization of extreme interest to us and being able to value that effectively is, is of course, very, very important. Also to mention extreme weather. The weather is changing. We serve Florida, North Carolina, and South Carolina among uh, the six states that we serve electrically. Uh, and each one of those suffers uh, hurricanes. And we've noticed an increase in the damage caused by those hurricanes and a more frequent uh, occurrence of those. Something else we have to be able to value in our, in our grid improvement plans. Another one I'll mention is uh, threats to the grid from a physical and a cyber nature. We've seen those increase over the years uh, and the amount of traffic that we get uh, trying to get into our systems, I think, is is uh, is pretty alarming. I'm not going to say what the numbers are, but they're up there. We successfully can block uh, those, but also the physical threats are out there. So those are another very important things to take into consideration uh, in your uh, grid modernization plans. And all those all those opportunities do work together. And I'll mention one other thing just to get it out there on the table. And it's the, uh, it's the electric vehicle transition and specifically transportation fleets, delivery vehicles like the Amazon trucks or the UPS trucks or FedEx trucks. As those begin to transition from traditional uh, combustion engines to electric vehicles, it changes what we have to serve from an electric perspective dramatically. You know, we're a regulated utility uh, in the areas that we serve and to change the nature of the grid to do to get the investments approved by our regulators, we have to be able to show that value in a quantitative fashion. And you have to be able to show that you have compared different alternatives. These are things that always get asked when we bring a plan to our regulators for improving the grid. What alternatives did you deliver? Did you consider? Why is this the best alternative? What are the benefits associated with these alternatives? Why should our customers pay for it? All of that is very important. And a comprehensive capital planning tool that allows us to go uh, five years out and value different types of investments is very, very valuable for us in making that case.